Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the India Predator League 2024, powered by Acer. We are here with the second BO3. The lower bracket semifinals are underway. Match number one kind of gave us an anticlimactic reckoning esports domination, where we saw a 13-1 and 13-2 beat down of team Sarafa and now we've got two other teams coming up ahead of us which of course include Badu Alipa and Aster Army two teams who've got some pretty interesting squads amongst them but which one of these is going to be going ahead to face off reckoning to fight for their survival in this competition I'm Universe and with me I've got scared yet and we're going to be taking you through game number two now I know you're new to this tournament but this catch you up to speed what just happened before i'm just gonna narrate to you reckoning beat down sarafa one of the better teams of course 13 1 and 13 2 so that was quite the beat down and of course in the upper bracket we've got true rippers and orangutan who play later on uh, you know tomorrow and day after in the days to come so i do want to ask you you know you came in with a lot of information bombarded to you in just a couple of minutes how are you feeling about this tournament and what do you think is going to happen in this game Honestly, I feel like there have been a lot of upsets in this tournament. You would expect some teams to be actually on that upper bracket while they are now competing mm -hmm. in the lower one. So, yep. it has been a, a, a very seesaw ride uh, wherein, you know, you do not know where it's going to go next. So, just as you mm -hmm. mentioned, even Reckoning Esports, that's some team I do not expect to see in the lower brackets. I always expect them to yep. be in that upper bracket run, right? Until and unless they reach the upper finals. So, mm -hmm. that's something that's pretty new to me and honestly, I've been watching Aster Army for a while now. I've seen their past matches and they've got a very solid composition. All the players are experienced as well. And in the previous five matches, I believe they've won three of them. So they've kind of got this momentum and one of the teams that they've beaten is Reckoning Esports itself. So I am expecting them to probably have an upper hand in this game, at least against Baddu Arepa. The reason is because of, the, you know, Baddu Arepa, they've been switching players a lot. So they've, they've mm -hmm. had... Um, a few players switch up and down in the roster out of the roster so that's one of the reason i think astro army might have an edge over there yeah well we'll find out how that edge is going to be gained here in this map video of course we've got haven ascent and to end it all off it might if needed to be lotus uh, astro army going with that haven pick of course they um uh, like a bit of safety they do love that haven but last time uh haven wasn't their best game they did lose out on that uh haven map uh to metal esports but then of course they came hmm. back uh, to win that series uh, two to one on ascent and bind whereas uh, but Olipa, yes they also like their haven they did win it against um uh gray fox but orangutan kind of uh you know uh played them silly in that upper bracket semi-final where they beat them 13-2 so haven uh if you consider off a fresh memory uh it's not that great for bl but the double a boys they should be loving going into this uh map veto because haven ascend both of these maps are something that aster army have uh, been a lot more confident on mm. in the recent past Yes, you are correct on that. And even on the map Haven, just as you mentioned, they did lose to medal. It was a 12-14. So it went into that overtime. So it's not like they they had a beat down or something. They still are very solid on this map. So just as you mentioned, they are very much comfortable in this. And we've seen them going in with a double initiator composition. So on Haven, they would mm -hmm. love to pick the breach and so on. And that's probably what we are seeing right now. Omen, so that they've got that versatility in terms of smokes. You have the block towards the heaven, maybe towards the backside or block of any other angle. So that's a very solid way coming in from their side. Plus, since they're already on that attacking side, they've got the mid game tool as well with the recon dart. They can probably try and gain the information at least for some part of the map. And since they've got the breach, you know those flashes could be coming in from any other wall. If you're not careful, you would be caught off guard. And it's basically a mirror composition. Badu Alipa going with the exact same thing. So I believe it is going to come down to those aim duels and those mid-rounding strategies and the IGL calls, I believe. Uh, yeah, of course. And uh, with the uh, mirror composition that we've got, this is pretty much a uh, pickup from the previous game that we just saw against uh, with the Reckoning and Sarafa. Both of them also finished off the last game on Haven. It was a 13-1. Uh, 
Uh, but here we've got pretty much the same, you know, four teams across four different uh, styles of play have the same composition of agents. Of course, you know, it's kind of the meta running right now to have that uh, Jet still be uh, the main duelist. Nobody's kind of going for that innovative, innovative play. But hey, they want to play it safe. They want to keep it a little bit in their control. So these teams have gotten a bit of experience of playing against each other in the recent past. But now they do need a bit more oomph in their game. Let's see which team's got it more as we head into the game. Haven is up for grabs. And Astro Army, this is your pick. You are an attack. Show us what you got. Indeed. And... Just as you've been mentioning about multiple teams having the same comp with multiple play styles now. That's the loveliest part of this game, to be honest. You can never expect what kind of composition the team is bringing. And even if it's exactly the same, there's something, you know, some kind of salt that they add in their own dish to somehow, you know, change those executes or maybe even those defensive setups. Because right now, we're seeing C is left entirely open for a full retake. Not even a single Killjoy utility, he's only Killjoy in the garage to make sure that they're not picked up if they're on the side. And it's a very quick execute, they've got the plan down, and I think so they'll be having a solid post plan position as well. Oh boy, with this entry, they're gonna let Kishi do a little bit of uh, roaming around here, and he might just be able to find one. He's hoping that somebody comes in the crosshair when uh, Coley tries to maybe cause a bit of distraction. He sees oh. one and gets the triple Ooh. burst. And that's the one kill that they needed. Out comes the flash, but there is a trade on Garage. Coley needs to get away from here, but he's still hungry for these kills. The defuse is being stuck and he needs his teammates to fly. But Ooh. Coley, he gets one and Levi finds two on the back of it. And the last man left standing will also go down to the big bad breach as Aster Army somehow carve out this round in their favor, even after having so many problems. Yeah, but I believe they've got, they had so much space to work with since the seaside was left entirely empty. There was absolutely no way they could not push in towards the CT as well. And that's what they did. And that distraction towards the garage, it was perfect because it gave the opening to Omen to pick Killjoy off. So that was a very nice move coming in from them. And just to wrap things up, we always have Levi. You know, whenever it's a tough situation, you can count on Levi. He's literally been performing really well for Astra Army. And even in this round, it seems they've got the same idea. They'll probably try and go for an early C hit, but the rotation is just as quick. So the adaptation by Vandu Anipa is there. Outdrawn is not going to reveal that much information ap apart from the fact that, yes, there is Breach sitting in. But it all seems to be a fake as Astra Army now seems to be looking towards the other part of the map. They've got to do the reclearance of at least A main. Because the garage push is being held by the turret. They do not have any idea if there might be someone who's pushed up towards the window. I think so the turret should either way spot them. So now working towards the A main for the four man maneuver. The information should be given. Hoax comes with a solid pick as she falls off in that fight. And JN has to back off. This is going to take a bit of a rotation. As you can see, of course, they're heading towards C. They know that A might be heavily stacked with that push. And their expectancy is right, of course. They're walking into a free bomb site now. And the Omen, who's the only point of contact, is calling this out to his teammates while he's keeping the, the garage door guarded. Might want to go in for maybe denying the plant, but he will not be able to do that. Shivi, he gets a bit of support with the stun, but it's not going to be enough. Jayen and Hoax, though. They both find one each, and they've made this really expensive for Astro Army. And Hoax, while he does have that Sheriff on his hands, and he's gotten two already, getting two more is going to be quite the task here. And they're split up, of course, so this uh, crossfire is going to be quite the uh, one to break. He does have a Bulldog. He's picked it up, but he's now ready for Levi because Levi spots his metallic arm and that's going to be the end of his life. But still, quite a good round for BL because... Dropping three weapons, quite the economical damage, and uh, really well played, honestly. They should be able to put the pressure on Astro Army in their next buy round. This, this should, because this one is going to be bonus either way. So I don't think so. Astro Army are actually going to invest into them too much. Maybe buying a few sheriffs uh, all along the board, and oh, weaponry should be very solid for Badu Alipa for this one, at least. So, yeah, a solid economical damage. And they could have converted the round if things would have gone 
a little bit different. But for now, Operator being posted in. And look at that, how aggressive post it is! 20 HP, you're not gonna escape from that. Kishi quickly winning out on that trade, and Rio also taking care of that. So are Duel, finishing Sai off to make sure they have got the advantage either ways. With a 4v3 situation, and them not yet committed towards one part of the map. They're just trying to play for picks. They've got two in the A main, and they also probably have an idea there might be one more posted up towards that. This time, I really like the setup coming in from Killjoy. You got your alarm bot towards the B side, turret near the garage, but also hold the C push unless someone stops it. While he goes out, delay any kind of push, and it's all a fig because everyone's just moving towards A. And I think so. If, if you pick any side at this point, you know you will be having the advantage. It's a 3v4, so they would have to spread themselves out. Heaven has been blocked off. Defensive smoke comes out as well, but I. I honestly do not like this smoke at all because you've got so many angles you can move out from. So, uh, I, I really don't think if, if it actually was a good one. But however, they're still going to win out on those trades, getting two. On the last member remaining, 1v3, and it seems almost too difficult. Yep, the Killjoy DC rolls. He's going to make his way towards heaven. He does have uh, a bit of a change in his uh, routine. He usually picks up that jet, and he was the jet the last time as well. This time, he's going for a bit of a passive roll. The jet is uh, going to be handed over to JN, who, by the way, is the usual killjo killjoy of the team. 3-0, and Acer Army, good start for them. The bonus victory allows them to have quite a bit of money in the bank. No problem in terms of reinvestments either, but... BL, they're going to probably give up another round here. It should be 4-0 pretty convincingly. Unless, of course, those uh, Sheriffs and Spectre and uh, Bucky can cause a bit of uh, havoc. Let's see. Because the A side currently is being guarded by one and one jet only. And he's being pressured to get off his angle. Out comes the Cavalry. Kishi probably going to check this angle. He actually doesn't. Never mind the jet. Fights come in, but JN, he misses his mark. He knew he had a shorty. He had only one chance to find one kill. But unfortunately, he made the wrong decision of uh, tailing that jet and loses his life. Yes, but now we've got to focus on the fight that's going to come in. He may in as dogs are his position. Oh, if he goes unnoted. No, he's with no team missed. Oh, the shots. That's the kind of effect you do not want. Sai capitalizes on that. And this time, Omen is not going to stand long. Levi again winning out on that trade. Good peak. Lovely oop. However, oh my god, that timing is absolutely nasty. Kohli still winning out. Sai has been taken care of in DC rules. That's going to be Shorty in the hand. Switched up for the Vandal. Will he get the shot? Yes, he will. Hope standing only for so long as they've still got four rifles in hand. So just as you mentioned, 4 to 0. Some economical damage, but not that much, to be honest. And I really love the way Aster Army is jiggling the way they are going for the executes. For a few rounds, they go in for a very quick hit towards the A side. While for the other one, they try to sell a fake. Not just one, maybe two or even three different fakes. And in one round, they've mm -hmm. also shown that they can play passive, they can play for picks. And after getting those picks, they can sell a fake towards one side only to move towards the other. So, whenever you've got a team that is always going in for some or the other kind of play, you always have to make a gamble towards one of the sides. Because it's Haven, you've got three sides, one will definitely be V. However, as of now, that's a decent amount of chip damage done already on the Kishi. Over that Killjoy Molly. Though the control has been given. Oh, oh, that's that's so big. Flying away only for a couple of people and they actually managed to get Kishi off. Sai so still winning out on Dogs with that trade off. Kohli gets the numbers equalized. Three versus three right now. And that's gonna be the fight very important. Kohli winning that out. Again, down to a 2v2. Operator is in the hand and it's posted towards the A side. They have pretty much everything covered out, and Coley just wants to maybe fake uh, that ultimate because he just teleports right next to himself. And that's actually pretty smart. I would say it's a gamble, yes, but they are hoping that this C site is uh, going to be a bit of a vulnerable one. And they're taking the right call. Shivy might not expect it, and he's been spotted and spammed down as well. Unfortunately, his barrel was facing the wrong direction, and the direction it was facing was for him to be exposed to that double man spray down. Now the last two members left are going towards A from Master Army as JN 
he's got a bit of a task on his hands. He's got no information whatsoever, but he does have quite the bit of uh, utility. He still has his dash online and a smoke as well to work and maybe isolate one of these fights. But Rio, he's holding the right angle. He might just find him pretty easily because that cubby was a little bit, a little bit too close for Jayden to leave it unchecked. 5-0 and as Astro Army taken Haven by the horns. Well, it seems we might possibly see another storm coming in in this game if it goes the same way. And you've already mentioned how strong Haven actually is for Astro Army and they are showing the reason for that. The same teams banning it out against Astro Army, but this time it was left open, picked up. And the punish is definitely there, but I feel like Bandhu Adipa, they, yeah, they are going in for some plays, but I I do not still understand the full investment of the Rolling Thunder in towards the garage. It was a very risky play, high risk, high reward one. They still got three people out of that play, but at the end, that fake ultimate that you mentioned about the Omen, that was the one that actually got them the round because it yep. just took the crosshair away from the garage towards the CT because he had to watch two different angles and then the spray down was just there. It was perfect clean up job. All played out perfectly. To be honest, brilliantly. Yep. What I feel Baddu Alipa should do in this round is to try and fight for that space. Try and take some of the map control because they're giving all of it. Like literally the entirety of the map control, they're just leaving it away. Even right now you can see, yes, Omen pushed up a little bit towards the C main, but that's it. Now quickly rotating back since the B site is under attack and they want to play a full retake for this one. Yeah, but they do have an eco on their faces, so they're trying to make this work as much as they can. Kishi's taken out the first kill and that should put the pressure on them. Three men coming in from A-Link here and they're dependent on the fact that JN can actually find some value with those knives. He's dashed into the side, but he's not going to be able to successfully connect any of them, which are fatal to this opponent. As Kishi, he just swings left, he swings right, he taps left, he taps right. Absolutely brilliant from Kishi there. Stood on the back of B site and found value from every bullet he fired. But JN, he was hoping to do that with his, with his knives. But those knives just kind of gave way to the body, not to the head. A bit of a problem here for the defense as they really probably need a timeout at this point to maybe reconsider uh, their bit of strategy. For the moment, it seems like they are going for that A short push with the double man stack up here. Make that a quadruple stack up just of course with the shock dart oh. to push him off. JN gets another bit of utility. They're not letting him do this. They know this is going to happen and that's great improvisation from the attack as well. The greed is there, but what they've got in front of them is a bit of a problem. They're sandwiched at the moment. They could be caught off guard uh, by the fact that this is a complete A attack, but the Rolling Thunder does help them out for quite some bit of distance. The jet dashes away, but there's still problems on the site. Kishi, he's not spotting on anybody oh. and he loses his life. I love it. I love it. A lovely start coming in. We have Jen on the operator as well, finally finding the value and they've got the control of the spike. There is only Killjoy remaining and Dogs, are, oh, he can do so much. He needs Ace, nothing less than that to get this round for his team. This might be the first one for Astro Army. Three crosses right in his face and he can't take down even one. As Shivi takes him out and finally get a flawless round victory. This is the gamble stack they played with and it worked out really well for them. And the reason for that is they tried to fight for that map control and it baited out a few of those utilities, if not most of them, at least a couple of nades. So that is exactly what you want to do. You want to force your opponent to use their utilities to take that map control, to take that space. Yes, you can give it up onto that because all you have to do is control the site at the later half. And the lesser utilities your yeah. opponents have to take that side, the more beneficial it would be for you. So, a very good play coming in from Badu Alipa this time on, but they have to repeat it again. Yeah, this time Astro Army taking a bit of a slow approach. They're boarding towards mid and they want to go towards B. They've got a breach ahead of them and the Sova has joined him here as well. Shock Dart to clear out any sort of uh, utility from the Killjoy, but the Alarm Bot still stays active as uh, the Lockdown comes in from the attackers. Sigh! A little bit too Ooh. in the open, my friend. 
Why would you try to attempt that when you know that there's players on the other side? Wait for the smoke to come towards you. A bit reckless, I would say, from the Sova there. He loses his life and a little bit reckless from Kishi as well. He tried to take map control, but unfortunately he was all alone. Now they're going for a bit of a spray down and they actually lose a player as well. Doxer, good for uh, one, does not go for the second. God. He should have gone for it. A little too close for comfort. He played that well, but it just wasn't the right timing in his favor. Coley gets the one. Instant teleport on top. That's actually really good. And he gets another. Makes it easier. It's a 1v1. And now the last man standing knows exactly where he is. We are going to spam him down to the wall. Oh, boy. He's still somehow trying to get yeah, the refuse. The recon is brilliant. For him to show the position of JN and secure the round for him. The perfect use of utility. Now, he, the thing that you mentioned, yes, Sova just getting a little too ahead of himself during that lockdown play. Probably wanted to destroy it with his shock darts, but he needed both of them to land and he was way too much in the open to even try and attempt that. Just a brilliant recon dart. The scan comes in perfect. The peak timing is... It's way too good. Re it looks like Rio is just so comfortable on this hero whenever he's in his, it's in his hand. It, yeah. It's nothing That's but all. a beauty whenever you watch him play Sova just like this. So, again, utilizing it perfectly. But this is the another round. 7-1 to one is already the situation. The best thing that could happen to Badu Alipa is 5-7. And that is if they get the next four rounds one after the other. And I don't think so. They've oh. actually got a full buy on this one. Oh, JN, his position too far in the open and he's got no support. Nobody to actually come in from that A short and try to trade him off. The player towards A long, yes, he did have the crossfire, but he just could not take those fights against three different players. Now Sai, he gets the one, he fights three! Sai! What was that spray down? How did you manage to do that? What? The jet dashing into the site and he was literally alone. Literally alone. Right here. Taking care of four people. They just, they did not peek him at the right time. And with the spray, he just connected all those heads. Oh my goodness. That is a hero play coming in from Sai. That, that, that was such a great one. But again, they cannot rely on these hero plays alone. They still have to figure out the way to stop Astra Army's pushes. Because, yes, that can happen in one round, but not in most one, most of them. Since Again, the out control taken. Perfect blind coming in. Side taken care of. And the entire side is there. But there is a threat of a pinch coming in. So that that has been taken care of as well. Lockdown used up. Early to try and force them out of the side. They have to respect it. They do not have any utilities to break it, maybe? No, they do. No, they, they do, did. and they still take care of it. Sheesh, yeah, everything just seems to be going southwards for Badu Alipa. Yeah, Doxo's coming slow. on the flank. He takes care of him. That's gonna be it. A great utility usage from Aster Army here to take down that Killjoy lockdown as well. It could have posed it to be a problem, but of course, the breach aftershock combined that with one little shock dart, and that should be it. Great stuff from Master Army. Eight and two, pretty comfortably in the lead here, as uh, they were hoping to maybe end this out ten and two. They do have a bit of uh, a work uh, load in front of them if they want to actually make that happen. Eight four seemingly might just end up happening because the perseverance of uh, Badwalipa sometimes tends to come out like what you mentioned in the fact of heroism by individuals dc rules wants to maybe try that out he's got a bit of an opening and he finds it the one comes his way Sai gets another with the hunter's fury an exchange of the lightning bolts here but it's still aster army with the control of the map but the spike is not in their hands rio spots out jayan on the flank and they know he's pretty darn low so they want to try and chase him down and now they know exactly oh. where he is. They don't know if he's crossed by. They're going to keep his, uh, keep their eye out. A good shot card. They might actually find him. Just about gets away. Now the spike is where it all matters. Does Sai find this once again? No, he doesn't. Doxer, ready for that. Shoots him straight down to hell. As JN is left in a mighty task of a retake with 10 HP. One enemy remaining. That shot was actually perfect. 
getting the timing onto that, but still in HP, way too low. Doctor, super ready for him. Went in for a reposition only to welcome him back with the head and his bullet. So 9-3 could be the best thing that could happen. But in this round, both the Hunter's Fury being used up, it just resulted into Omen repositioning in such a way that it basically came down to a run and gun and the shots did not connect. What I feel mm -hmm. that when JN actually threw that smoke up, uh, that was one of a time where maybe, you know, the defender on the C side could have creeped up towards C main or maybe try and take the space towards the cubby because the attention was already yeah. towards JN. So that, that they could have made that way to try and maybe, take care of that yeah, map true. control and to take that space instead of just standing on towards long and yeah, that, I think that's one thing that I feel they could have done. I think the reason mm -hmm. he didn't try that was because he knew that the spike is out in the open. Maybe he wants a cleaner vision of uh, taking easier fights because that copy position is susceptible to the fact that if both of them swing, it still ends up being a 1v1. But for now, it's a 1v1 that does get traded off towards A main. JN able to get away with that kill there. He's the only one between this A and B side, but look at DC rules. Where is he sitting? He's got no support. Yes, it's an off angle, but my boy, you can't expect to get out of there with more than one kill, and you got nothing, to be honest. And Kishi, he's going to be managing to take out the jet. We'll get away, and Coley actually teleports with him as well. Great stuff. Instant transportation towards the A site for Astro Army, as now they prepare for the final round of the first half in a 3v2 post play. Here. And it seems very difficult to even go in for that free take because they've got all the utilities for somehow she be takes care of Kohli. So that's some kind of an opening that they have. But yet, they still need to try and make a play. And nope, Hoax will not be allowed to do that. The timing on that paranoia was just a little off. She be takes care of Rio. But again, Kishi had that Kishi. crosshair right at the perfect place. Not exactly a crosswire, but yes, looking at an angle from two different places only to catch Shibi off guard. Now, that paranoia, if it was a second earlier, that fight would have won, would have been won by a hoax and they would have had a very solid chance because it would have been down true, to a 2v2. But it's just that utility being laid by half a second. That's the margin of error in this game. So yes, the rounds are pretty close, but Baddu Ali Pan are now finally on the attack. 10-2, definitely not a good position for them. A precarious one to indeed. But still, I believe that if in case they try and make the attacks, you know, as a mixture of different kind of plays, just like how Asta Army did. Fast hits for some rounds, mm -hmm. slow hits for the other one, fakes and everything. They can try and cook something up and it all starts with the pistol. So they need to grab this pistol and the anti eco. Yeah, it does seem like quite a bit of task though. Coley, he does have a bit of problem coming his way. Puts down the defensive smoke there and the trade comes in. JN will go down. Docs are sitting in this corner and he's finding kills left, right and center. But the Killjoys are the only ones fracking out it seems. Coley will trade him back. Finally, DC Rules put to sleep and Kishi on the backstab will take out Sai. Meadow, forgive me, I was gonna say Meadow because I saw the tag, never mind. Aster Army are in total control of this map of Haven and their map pick seemingly really, really strong for them. 11-2 as this game should be pretty much over in the next five minutes or so. What do you think though? Do you think there's any sort of a chance for a comeback? Seems very difficult. Badu Alipa have got monkeys on their back at this point because they're just having to face this kind of situation 11 to 2. Forcing in this round, not having the good weaponry. Ooh, wait, wait, what? Kishi is just putting salt on the wounds of them. Picks one person off. Now Jen quickly tries to go in for the side entry. Paranoia did connect. Oh my what? goodness, Rio! Somehow managed to get a nasty flick onto the ADC rules. Trying to get the numbers equalized. Still CV2 takes care of the person on the side. He loads the stinger. 10 bullets in the mag of Shibi. So he has to wait. He has to wait in patience. He has to be ready for any kind of push. The mod is going to push them back. My goodness, Kohli. He just needs to connect one more bullet and it would be it. Shibi needs to make a play. Because the HP is just way too low on DC rules. He does ones on default. Spike he knows that he's not even crossed over. And he might just yeah. have the idea that they might push in towards spawn. Oh, DC rolls. You need to be careful, my friend. You're pretty darn low. Oh and out it God. comes both the kills 
follow each other almost instantaneously. They both happened at the same moment as Aster Army will secure match point 12 to 2. And all the efforts of this force by, you know, I, honestly, in the first, that first shot that I just saw from the Marshall that Kishi got, I was really confused because I thought that skin was an operator. And I thought I got so confused. I'm like, how does this guy have an operator in the second round after the pistol? And then I realized, oh, it's a Marshall. Okay. Because I've never seen that skin before. And I genuinely was so confused, but hey. In the end, Astro Army, they work it all out, find themselves. This, this is more of a beautiful skin, right? Not that other one. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> what I was actually confused was the fact that he actually got a body shot and not a head shot. So I was like, wait, wait, what? How is that not a head shot? He was only seeing the head of that person. But yeah, it was pretty ways, close. It's going... Yeah, it was indeed. Now, Aftershock being used up, trying to clear the angle, and just sidestepping it. Now, they do have an idea that... The control is there. What? How does that even work? He was moving while getting that shot in, but all right, the bullet connected. That's probably the luck, but catching a perfect timing onto the opposite killjoy. That's what Dogzer does. So he still got the control, and also, oh, my wow. goodness, Levi. Jeez, oh, wow. the way that's no just way. holding the angle is got the sheriff in hand. He needs to get this flick and does not anticipate CB into the garage. It's just everyone catching the other person at a perfect time whenever their backs are turned. Levi has to take care of one. Yes, does it very well. She be the only one remaining. Uh, Hoax has to go in for that rotation somehow. Uh, he's doing well. Spike has he's been got planted. The perfect flank. My God. No way. No way this is happening. Levi has no idea. He has literally no idea. Yep. He does not have any idea. And Hoax is ready for him. The burst comes through. Played really well from Hoax. He instantly realized if this guy's coming in C-Long, I can flank the flanker. And he did it at the right time. Great stuff here from uh, uh, BL. But of course, in the end, it became a little too expensive. Uh, that one free kill onto side towards yeah. the uh, A main. And then he followed that up with... Uh, the two kills found by the Killjoy on the C site. But of course, the players were pretty low, so you can't throw them completely off. But Astro Army, they seemingly should be looking at a 13-4 maybe because this round with their economical purchases is not looking likely as a... Duckling, please still find the kill! He's like, I don't care if I don't have a good weaponry. I'm just going to push them off and catch them off guard. And talking about catching off guard, she be also doing the exact same thing. Kishi been taken down. But he's already done the damage, right? He had a stinger in hand. Taking care of one person. The sheriff shot needs to connect. Levi gets the flash out perfectly. But the cloud burst is also there to block the vision. And good sidestepping maneuver. It's still a two-man peak there. Do not want to take that fight. Jay and still wins it out. Levi trying to force the issue. Did not end up in his favor. Shock that's gonna do some chip damage. He's gonna take the side, goes towards the back of it, takes care of Rio. Dead zoning absolutely perfect. And it's just a flanker remaining. No utility to show that there's a flanker, but still Hoax is there holding the angle, cleans yeah. things up really well. And just as you mentioned, securing the fourth round. So yes, it is something, at least another lifeline. Yeah, another lifeline, but it seems unlikely that they continue to preserve this. It is going to be quite the task for them to actually come back from uh, this kind of a scoreline unless they have the perseverance of uh, the highest order. But for now, Astro Army True. might want to switch up their approach. Look at that. They've got a bit of a right clean setup. They might go towards a bit of an A-short push. And forgive me, an A-short utility dump, but no push on the back of it. Just a little bit of a fear inducement, it seems. And instantly, both the initiators are playing that passive role because they know they've got that huge ultimate. So to be all them. Oh my God. Great first kill from Sai. He finds... Uh, Kishi and the B set has been opened up. They spot the kill joy though, so they now know that the lockdown is what the plan is. They're heading towards garage and they put down one of their own. That's actually a pretty great ultimate, and that's practically impenetrable for the moment. Coley's gonna hold himself off towards the back of C site. He's got a smoke to protect him, while his teammates will have to hope that maybe or at least he finds whoa, the one whoa. kill here. 
Uh, what? Through the smoke, Hooks actually gets that headshot. Doxer somehow stabilizes the number. Levi taking care of the flanker. So yes, the retake can come in. Spike has already been planted. Rolling Thunder invested too. Rio knocked up. I've got to wait for it. And another lockdown being invested in the exact same position. You can do it. We can also do the exact same thing. Yep. But again, it's the after plan situation for Baddu Alipa. So they would not probably mind it. They have got the fault line ready. Just waiting for the spike tap. The things on the map are also there. The Nanosong push them back. They have to peek at the exact same time. My goodness, that's such a tight angle, Hooks. Not being able to hold. The Juice is coming in. Oh, Juice has been killed. It's not off. And Shibi gets two of them. It's only on to dogs that somehow win this trade. High low setup. And Hooks wins that trade out. Dogs that could not do anything. 5 to 12. Really well played. Good stuff. Once again, that one-way smoke helped them quite some bit. And the fact that Hoax survived that, he was just jiggle peeking the slitherest of angles. And that's exactly what he was supposed to do. He was trying to dot, draw the attention from the defenders uh, so that Shivi could win those duels. And that is how they were able to put up number five on the board. Astro Army, a bit of a perplexing situation now as they've let three rounds slip by them in a row. And now they want to go for a bit of B aggression. They're holding out towards B. Kishi's going to start pushing up now because I see nobody there. And C, and here all the utility being dumped towards uh, the C site. But Sai, he's got a bit of an angle and he finds both of them. He's ready for it. A lurking so was not something you see every day, ladies and gentlemen. But it is Sai. And uh, he does dream quite often. So his dreams are made up of multi kills. But Rio gets a great kill onto him, does not expect him there at all. As Astro Army now just gonna play for a bit of an exit strategy. He just, he just sent it back to the dream world. Hooks with a straight out dog set taken care of. Who's uh, is just here to do the cleanup job? Jen picks up the last one. Here's the sixth, yes. and. The way they actually got the seaside, it seemed inevitable that they would be the ones to win that trade-off. Especially given on the back of these two picks by Sai. Really well done. And Rio again, catching the flanker. Now the reason why they can put Sai on that flank, even he's on the Soba, is because of the fact that they already have Breach. The double initiator combo. So they know that they can have those utility usages of the breach to go in for the side executes and he's basically like a pseudo duelist so you know he's going to do a very solid job at that with the soba you can throw out your recons you can throw out your shock darts and then you can just play off site you can play for those late picks and there we go hunter's fury being used up to clear those angles coley inside the smoke does he have oh! a great gen no he does <laughs> okay. not dropping from the heaven finishing him oh, wow, off but Rio. again he's gonna be taken down by the hunter's fury rio trading the numbers now Four versus four, there is a rolling thunder available. A bit of a drone reconnaissance here. It does tag up DC rules, but they still don't know that Shivy is on the back of side. They're hoping that the spike can travel back here, but there's a bit of trouble. They're hoping for Garage to not be spammed through upon, and it will travel safely. A tap, and that's what they were hoping for. The rolling thunder finds only one, but they're ready Ooh. for the corner as well. This could be the end. Levi finds another as the last man standing now. Forgive me, last two men standing. I have to try and fight this out. A two versus two. Make that a two oh versus my one. God. Sai's been stunned and Sai will be killed. 13 to six. Aster Army will be taking this map. Later, if not sooner, they will find it. And they find it 13 to six. Great first map from them. Yes, a little bit of a slip up towards the second half. Let four rounds slip away uh, in a row. But hey, if you're able to close it off at any point of that matter, being on match point, it is still, of course, a dominant victory. There are 10, there are 10 chances to close it out. So yes, of course, they can let a few slip up. And either way, they were able to win the map. That's what matters because they've been doing an excellent mm -hmm. job in that entire map. They knew how True. to execute those sites and even when it came to those retakes, they were doing a really good job. That Rolling Thunder, the bait was such a brilliant way to, you know, make sure that Rolling Thunder does not catch most of your team off guard. So just one yeah. tap and it was all still joy, but on the back of it, he was not able to entirely go from C main to a safe position because, you know, the True. cubby is the True. only thing in between and there's always an aftershock that's invested there. 
you will not be able to stand in so that was a really yeah. well played two to position by astra army they knew that they have to clean kabi they will have the kill jaw right in front of their eyes taking mm-hmm. them down and then the final person was only on the left side just a single dump of utility that was enough to finish him off spike was already down so astra army cleaning things up absolutely well it's just their attacking off on the back of it they were able to just easily move through plus we already know how strong they have been on the pistols and not just in this game Great. even in the other games they've, been, they've shown solid pistol rounds and you already have the pistol down in your arsenal so you know that getting the anti eco is also not that difficult let's quickly see how they actually managed to win the game I think towards the end uh, the point of contact in terms of that rolling thunder bait was probably supposed to be Shivy but he had gotten so far back into the site because we could see there was a point where he was trying to teleport back so that he could get the spike so that he can actually again use the shrouded step to get away from the rolling thunder faster than the killjoy because of course if the killjoy taps it and he tries to get away he's going to have a, quite a bit of distance to run away right so I think that was the actual thought process but then Shivy Uh, had already used up one and if he used up the other he's going to be stuck so they just let him linger on the back of that site there and uh, the rest was of course history aster army quite the dominant start here pretty much as uh, we were expecting i would say i at least what i was expecting aster army to have uh, you know the basic discipline and control of the game as they did across pretty much the entire uh, map of haven yeah a little bit of slip up here and there but it still doesn't matter at the end the result is just as damaging as you would expect and now they head into ascent with it being uh, of course bl's pick but i don't see this turning around man i think this will probably end up being a 2 and 0 and if we are to believe the stats here uh, if they are to translate anything the score line in terms of in terms of kills does not actually translate the right meaning does it because look at the kills between no. both teams they're not that different are they they're not too far apart but the score line is that different it's 13-6 but if you look at the kills overall 17 for Rio 14 for Sai 15 for Hoax 15 for Coley they're not too far away and that would signify and show you that while yes Astro Army forgive me while yes BL were getting their kills you know now and then the impact of those kills were not round translation kills they were more of just a consolation yes. because at the end of it Astro Army ended up finding the most important kill that was needed to finish off the game every single round and that's exactly why they've got that 13-6 scoreline in front of them exactly the importance of those small kill differences just three two and among all of those people that's the impact kills you know that those are the exactly. ones that were important and yes just as you were talking about the last round she be should have been the one to win the duel against his opponent breach he had to Real. win that yeah. no matter what because yeah he he was on the back of the side he was immune to the rolling thunder and everyone had their attention towards the main because that's where the foots were coming from by the kill Actually, so he had to make a play and that was the reason why he was towards the back of the side and when he failed mm-hmm. to get that pick that it was basically the nail in the coffin now and it's a very big nail to remove so you know sure. that the person who had to get a kill on to the opponent's back line is now not there so you have to do everything from the front and it all just came down to the aim duel and we know that they were just in an unfavorable position at that point and astro army played it really well but again that was just game number 1 as you mentioned it's ascent in the next one astro army has been looking very solid on to that but i still think badu adipa would get that in their back ascent yes might be a solid pick for astro army but badu adipa have also been pretty decent on that map and i really think the one who are on the defense in the first half can definitely have that tempo in their favor it's a defense centric map so i'm expecting them to probably end things up at somewhere around 8-4 if possible but nonetheless fingers crossed we'll just have to see and we'll have to hope for a very good game in the second Yeah, we will we'll see it real soon at the end of this short break. Ascent coming on the other way. Which one of these teams is going to be taking us the distance? Is it going to be Aster to just finish and eliminate BL from this competition or are we going to see Lotus? We'll find out at the end of this break.
And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to the India Predator League 2024. We are underway with match number two, map number two right now. Ascent coming up for Aster Army and Badua Lipa. This is uh, going to be quite the game, of course, because it is the selection of BL, this map. And we're heading into what could be uncharted waters for the team who have chosen this map because um, Aster Army have practically beaten them black and blue in the previous map of Haven. 10-2 first half with a couple of rounds that they were able to muster up and make it an even 13-6. But it is still going to be quite the difficulty for them to get back into the series because even though Ascent is a map that they will be feeling comfortable upon, I am not entirely sure that they can stop the momentum of this Aster Army. Scared, what do you think about this? Again, unless they're able to get the first few rounds of this map, I don't think so. There's very easy stopping to the momentum of Astro Army, just as you've mentioned, because they've literally almost stormed Baddu Alipa in that game. And seeing that it's a sent, a defense centric map, Astro Army are on the defense, I am really very scared for Baddu Alipa. Yes, it's their pick. I, they should be comfortable onto that one, but there's always this pressure of getting knocked out if you lose this one. So you tend to make a few mistakes. Yep. And how well Badua Lipa make sure they do not commit them is probably going to be the way for them to win out in this map. And it all just come down, comes down to that mental fortitude, right? How strong will you are, how solidly you can actually hold those map spaces, play out your cards and get that aim right onto the opponent's head. It's going to be important for them. Yep. Well, I believe that we will be seeing a uh, competition on this map more so than we saw on, the on uh, Haven, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, because in the recent past, of course, uh, they've been pretty... Uh, competitive on Ascent. They've taken Orangutan to nine rounds, but then Orangutan have some sort of a, um, you know, love-hate relationship with that. Mm -hmm. I think it should be a mirror composition here. Yep, more or less it is. Two initiators, the KO and the Sovas across both sides, the Killjoys, Jets, and the Omens. It's gonna be pretty much the same as we once again head into a compositional fight of the aim. Who's gonna be better with their utility? Who's gonna have the advantage of playing this more as a team? Which Killjoy is not gonna be striking a little bit more fear into the hearts of their opponents with their lurks or if at all with their defensive setup? Because Doxer last map, he did quite a bit of a number. He was really good in Ooh. his uh, stride. He was defensively really strong, held onto his ground really well, but this time, he needs to do it again. DC rules, not so much. Will he be able to step up this game? We'll find out. Ladies and gentlemen, Scent coming your way. Absolutely. And even in the previous game, we see both the Sovas doing the job for their teams. They were the ones who had the maximum ACS in their respective teams. So I'm expecting them to have the similar kind of impact even in this one. Plus, you know that KJ playing on the B side denies almost the greatest of the greatest attackers the entry to take that space. Plus, there are so many places mm -hmm. you can keep those mollies. I think so. It will just keep... Badu Alipa guessing where those mollies are going to be. However, we're probably going to see a paranoia maybe being committed towards the AMA. We were seeing the pings on the map. So the knife scans in. No one has been scanned up. Uh, the fight's going to come here. Oh. 22 HP on Kishi. He has to dash away. And he actually makes it out alive. That is something I was not expecting. Oh. But it's going to be an ace split probably coming in from the cat as well. Three people. Levi taking down JN. So that's the duelist out of the picture. Uh. But that shot dart is so perfect. Both the duel is taken care of. Folks quickly taking Levi down. So it's down to a 3v3. The spike, the spike is one. not on side. Oh my goodness. That could have been a horrible blunder probably. Because now he's got to make the full rotation from the A main. The space has yeah, been taken by Batu. Does. On the side, but... Uh, stopping I mean, for the has time. He, he has uh, time he has, but... and they probably know that this is the case that, you know, he's rotated and now the spike's going to go down. But uh, look at that. That actually caused a bit of a confusion in Astro Army. The Sova, he went to check towards that a, a B site just in case maybe it was a fake, but it's not. That turret misplaced will not give them any value whatsoever. 
And now Astro Army have a bit of a task on their hands. The Recon clears off pretty much most of the front sight. And now they're worried about Under Heaven. There is a Recon that could come in through, but there's fights happening on the other side. Rio, he's spamming it down, but the smoke's gonna go away in a second, and there comes the first kill. Chibi trades up back, he gets another, and now it's on to Doxer. He needs a clutch, and he finds one, he's going for the other, he gets it, and Doxer! He has enough time to defuse as well. The 3v3 comes down to a 1v2, and Doxer once again stands tall as Astro Army find the pistol. If it's a clutch moment, always bet on Doxer. That's what he's been doing. And that shot from Rio, she did whatever he could, but Doxer just coming out on top. That is the main reason why that happened is because again, Baddu Alipa not taking space after they've gone in for the post plant position. All of them right just here. creeped in towards the hill. Yes, you can fight with the numbers, but when numbers are equal, you always know that there is a chance of a quick flick coming in from the other person, so you can be taken down because it's just a micro adjustment. And I'm not quite sure where that recon was supposed to land, but not exactly there, so I guess, but just a small miscalculation, even though they still take that space. Now gonna break the door towards the market as well. Showing some presence, it actually seems to be an ace split coming in. Oh my goodness, Kishi is just overwhelmed by this point. Gaming upon the Guardian, Levi still there oh, with the Vandal in hand. Levi. Only good for one though, as these two quickly finishes the mob. I don't know, that was really good. Oh, Shibi? Ratan Gun Kohli takes Shibi down. And with a classic right click, he gets the spike in his clutches. And also, can retrieve the victim, but oh, position noted. Spray down is there, that's gonna be two man finishing him off. Four kills for Kohli in this now. Well, quite the round there. It could have been a lot more expensive than it uh, intended to be. Kohli does do quite a bit of the heavy lifting to try and find no more damages to his team. But hey, they've got quite a bit of weaponry going on in this round as well. So they should be able to win this one uh, convincingly. Astro Army, I wouldn't even call this a bonus. This is practically a bonus with, uh, you know, a lot of rifles on their hands. They had a Guardian, they have a Vandal on Doxer. Here we go. A full-fledged B attack seemingly likely. And Kishi's actually found Sai from A short to B link. And that's quite the tap on the head. DC rolls. He's hoping maybe he can get one. But the recon is so instantaneously countered from that flash. He does get the pushback. But DC rolls still wins the fight. JN will get taken out. Kohli finds two and Rio with the shock dart. And that should be round finished. He Tele teleports into his own smoke there, Shivi. And he's got Levi waiting for him, and he does not expect the off angle. 3 0, BL. They kind of made a blunder of that round. I'm not quite sure what the exact um, motive was, how the attack came in, because JN was isolated towards market. By the time he came in, he kind of got, you know, uh, outplayed, I would say, in terms of positional play. And the people coming in from B main were pushed off. So JN entering from market when he knows his teammates are still not in from B main is a bit of a miscommunication problem, I would say. And that cost him the round. Just, and that was, that was their buy round. So they had the better weaponry. Now again, just like the previous one, it seems to be a deja vu, however, towards the pizza dogs are standing. Probably would have heard the footsteps of JN dodges the flash as Levi throws one fragment out of it. Sure. Trying to stop any kind of push. Now, do, do they anticipate that JN would actually be in that corner? That's the question. Everyone's holding their angle, so they just want to play for picks. Spike not yet committed. And no one has the idea for that. JN, oh my goodness. <laughs> Wow. It was still okay. Rio picking the kill off using the shock dart, but still Kohli finishes hoax off. That's that's a simple cleanup coming in. Another flawless. This time Astro Army just do not seem to be stopping, and it's the defense. I told you that Ascent is a defensive map, but I didn't expect Baddu Alipa not even to pick up one of the rounds in the starting four. The moment they lost their full buy. It just seemed that it's gonna go down into a 0-4. Yes, in the previous game, we did see that kills were almost equalized. But in this one, this there's a huge gap. Kohli on 7 and DC rules on just 3.
Now towards the alien, the knife is going to come in to scan anyone who might be standing there, giving an idea that there's absolutely no one. Ah, Shivy. Needs to be careful there. He is the only one alive towards that A-Main side. A recon to clear out pretty much any close angle. DC rolls will have his turret taken out by Doxer. As he walks straight back and Shivy. He's got a bit of a tail. Flash comes in. Half blinded. But there is a double swing that he does not expect. Levi opens up the null command for a bit of, of what I would say an unnecessary ultimate. A little premature but it still holds them off. And Kishi's got ground that he's covered up. But he will be punished for it. Sai able to get the numbers back to level. Four versus four. There is a good ultimate available on the attack. The Hunter's Fury. But all that depends is if they're able to find the post plan in their hands. Doxer has been spotted. He's got nothing to help him out here. He's all by his lonesome. He needs to win this fight. But he's not going to be able to. Jayan gets it. And there's a good split coming in. Coley, he does have support. He's got a flash. Out it goes. It's out. Absolutely perfect. He finds another. No, he doesn't. Oak takes left. him uh, and his teammate out with DC rules next to him. And now it's a one versus three. Spike planted. All the main duels that they needed to win were lost. Hooks clearing things out. So finally, the first round by Baddu Alipa. Those were some really good duels, to be honest. Apart from the one that Shibi took, uh, he, he was kind of just swamped with the utilities, but made sure that he would bait out the Null Command, and that was one of the major tools to use. Especially whenever you're on the defense, you need that Null Command. Holy timing on that paranoia was absolutely brilliant, but it just... The aim adjustment was not that quick. Got one, then got picked off. And it's the first round for Baddu Ali for Operator, and now... Being put in. Do they have an idea that yes, it's going to be a full on V hit coming in. Now they're going for a very quick one as Hope picks off Kishi. So that's the duelist out of the picture. Jian has been suppressed. So the position has already been noted that they might be on site. Boathouse being cleared. Taken the site perfectly. Now the question is when will this retake come in? Operator has been taken care of already. And there is no more. Null command to use up. No more utilities to use up. Doxer being picked off. Oh, that, that should be the spray down. Shivi gets both of them as Sai finally finished off Kohli at CT. And now, they're going to put a dent on the economy of Ashtar army for sure. Or maybe not. Odin? Yeah, well, the Odin, of course, exactly is... Bringing the uh... Odin. Yeah, I mean, of course he would. Why wouldn't he? The two rounds that have gone away now in the hands of BL have been quite the problem. And if they build up on this uh, momentum quite a bit, then Astro Army could have troubles uh, uh, maintaining uh, their record and winning this game. Rio, he wants to stop that, and he's got the big, bad spray down weapon in his hands to make sure that does not happen. And Kishi. Oh, Kishi, you're blind. You need to get away from there. Side takes out Levi as well, and that's going to be, be opened up. At least mark it for now. Rio is still here. And he's completely tucked on the back end. Does have a drone, but he does not have time. There's no. the first kill. Shark darts, nano swarms, oh, everything coming his way. And he will be taken out in the end as DC rolls. We'll make sure that that Odin does not sing any more songs of death. Four versus two. And that's their army risking a third round. Get away from them right here. Yep, as Sai takes Kohuli down, it's only on the last remaining member. Bugs are only good for one. Finished off just as quickly. DC rules. Getting the third one for his team on board. And they've also built up a very solid alt economy. Odin was invested in this round. Was good for one, but nothing more than that. So, they've been going in for a lot of investment rounds. But not being able to convert them is one way that they're going to lose all of their creds. And they've got a very shaky buy in this one. Yes, a hero's vandal. And a bulldog to work with, but dogs are. But apart from that, a stinger, a couple of sheriffs could be doable. If they actually get those one taps right, then it definitely could be doable. However, that's going to be oh, the spray down. Holy, someone's the Kohli. leg of JN. Jeez. I mean, I mean, that too. It wasn't even the leg. I think it was just the firing barrel. He saw the barrel. The spark coming from the barrel of his opponent's is, uh, weapon when he was spraying down, and that was a more clear indication of where he could be shooting. He found the head right. level. Really good game sense there. He understands 
where to shoot, where not to call it. And instantly he's caused a bit of commotion in Badwalipa as they've been forced to rotate away towards the B site where Kishi's awaiting for them. That A stack is going to be no longer of any use. You can see that Aster Army are also contemplating a rotation and Kishi's called it. He knows that the drone's coming in here. It means that there's definitely going to be quite the follow-up. And the follow-up is a big lockdown to get you out of the sight. And instantly, there is a retaliation as well. But they've got another one of their own. The Hunter's Fury comes in. So many ultimates being committed. But it is going to be BL to force take this B side by themselves. Also managed to detain one person. It's a 4v4 scenario and Kishi needs to win this fight. Yes, position noted. I had absolutely no idea DC rules would be there. And since the spike has already been planted, a lot of resources being committed in this uh, it was It was a save round to be honest. Now, a half by you can say DC rules again when it comes out on another pick Levi from the CT. Good for one. Quickly taken care of by Hooks as well. It was just the position of DC rules. It was not noted at all. So, I mean, someone had to check it. Once, I understand, but two times, uh, that was something of a miscommunication from Asta Army, that's what I feel. And mm -hmm. honestly, they would actually be happy after seeing how many ultimates were invested. Killjoy Lockdown, so was Hunter's Fury, and I believe there was also the investment of From the Shadows, if I'm not wrong. So, that's already three ultimates, yeah, was, and in the round yeah. that they did not even go in for a full buy. So, I, I believe that's still, in the macro level, a big win for... Astro Army, let's see how they deal with this quick A push this time. I can't use that. GN is ready to go in. He can't take the dash out. He goes. He's got a lot of trouble coming on left and right. Kishi takes out Sai on the back end though. And JN's gonna go down as one by one. It is trades going back and forth, but the majority of it came in the hands of BL. They got three in a cluster. And now they've actually decided to rotate away. Rio is aware of this, and he might just get taken out, and Shiwi will do that. Doxer, he's left alone, he's got ideas, and he's heard these players walking straight in. That alarm bot is not going to give him anything, because DC Rules was ready for it. And BL take the lead in their hands for the first time in the entire two maps that we've seen so far. Absolutely, the first time they're in the lead and that in the attacking half of a cent. Now that's something we don't always see. Yes, I've been saying time and time again it's a defense centric map, but we've still seen teams going 7 and 5 in the attacking half and doing really well. And still somehow not being able to close out the game only because they fumble on the defense. So you can never truly expect what's going to happen. A one-way swing being thrown up, Shibi. Holding that angle from such a far away place. You would normally not expect someone to be there. But a high flash could definitely come for his team to peek in from the mid. By Levi. Tries to go in for the scan. Does not scan anyone. Utility is just being thrown up to figure out the position of the people. However, Spike not yet committed. Still, Badwalip are looking towards the B site now. There are a couple of mollies there, but no one to give the information. So they'll get one person rotated. Ashram is still holding the angle. Now he's already out in the hands of Kishi. Oh. Tries to find the contact. Jen wins that trade out. And that's the opener. And dogs are low HP. Finished off. Levi though is ready to welcome him back in his arms. Sheriff being used up perfectly. Taking him down. But the rifles cannot be retrieved. Yep. The Sova Rio. He is doing a bit of a reconnaissance mission towards B main. He clears out that there's nobody here, but the problem is that Levi's got no idea about this. He does spot one, he jumps up, and he needs to get away. Now he knows it's B, and they've made Rio sit on the back of side once again. He has been detected though by the KO Knights, so they know he's here. It's gonna be quite the task for him to stay alive. Flash comes in. He's not yet taken out, he's still alive, and we know that he's done really well on the backside here at most times. Coley's teleported and he finds one! He's braced two, and Coley gets another! The time is no longer available! Sai's been blinded, and Sai's been killed! What just happened? How did Astro Army win this? Coley, with the clutch from the shadows, teleport, 
He made himself available to the back of side. He made sure that Rio didn't take those fights alone. He threw a smoke down so that there was a bit of cover. And for some odd reason, the plant was right in front of the mouth of that backside archway. I'm not quite sure why that was the case. He could have planted behind green boxes. He could have planted anywhere on the site. That decision was just so, so wrong. They choose to plant the spike in the exact place that was perfectly spammable. So yes, exactly. that definitely was not a very good decision though. Another quick hit coming in. Flash play. Oh my god, Levi. They just sent him into another dimension with that oh. flash. That was outworldly. Still Rio's there to welcome someone back. The glitch tries to take cover behind the green boxes. Only to fall off by the hands of JJ and taking care of him. And that's a very solid feat coming in from Dogs. Uh, taking Sai out. So that's KO taken away. Still a 3v2 in favor of Badua Lipa. They can definitely convert this one. But Astra Army needs to play for picks. Doxa is just waiting for Roman to show up from the main. The angle is not watched out for. And even the outdrone is not committed. He actually oh. gave the fourth, but still wins the fight. Kohli takes the Shibi down. And since now they've got the control, Odin's plan is going to come in. Paranoia, perfect. Jay and taken care of. And now it's just on to him. Odin in the hand. And he cannot do anything more than that. The defuse will come in. And the sixth round on board for Astor Army. What a retake. Sheesh. Once again, Kohli, the hero of his team, that comes in from A main, swings out, finds the first. The paranoia to follow it up. And the jet there. JN, he thought he dashed onto the site, but that little bit of a ledge prevented him from getting away. And Kohli found that kill. The cover from his teammate just couldn't come in. And with that, it's Aster Army finding number six. And they've taken the lead back in their hands. This half could end, end up pretty much in level terms. But all of that depends on how BL want to process. Of course, the last round, the knives have been equipped and they're going towards Catwalk, it seems. Where the Killjoy is waiting for them. Not quite sure he actually spotted Doc, sir. He triggers the utility, but he's taking a bit of damage himself. And that shock that's gonna soften them up even more. He's gonna get spammed down here, and he will, Doc, sir. Never spam for the smoke of the Vando, my friend, especially when you don't know how many players are on the other side. The trades come in, two come in for them. BL still on the better, uh, forgive me, the lower, uh, worst end of men here. And the ultimate from Levi has caused a bit of a standstill. Oh, he with the off shot, Kishi not connecting. That is not having a good day on the operator in every single round, and that's gonna give the null command to Sai in his hands. The nice gonna again scan Levi, pushing him back. And now the positional advantage is for Badua Lipa. We got a very solid control of the map. Shibi in towards the main, one towards the hill. They've got to isolate the fight, only to pick them off. Hoax with the spray down smoke timing was just not that perfect. And he finishes off Kohli as well through that smoke spam. And who would have thought that things would actually end up at 6-6 on Ascent. That is a very solid comeback, I would say, from Badu Alipa when they were down 0-4. I did not actually True, expect them to probably end it on a 6-6 half, but still, they've done a very solid job. Truly commendable. Yeah, and now they've got quite the task ahead of them. Yes, they are playing on the defense, so it should be slightly a uh, bit more favorable and easier for them. Well, but we've seen how things can turn around in uh, the worst ways possible. Master Army have got quite the discipline amongst them, amongst their players, so there shouldn't be too much problems. They've won practically every one of their pistols so far. They've got three out of three. Why not find the fourth as well? It is... Going to be an A stack hit, it seems, for the side of the attack. They've got all five players stationed there, maybe waiting for the KO knife to come in and then attack it. No, never mind. There is a full A retake place, I think, for the defense. They've only left the Omen spotting out Shivy. He does have now support coming in. The smoke is popped in. The knife as well. Going to give them quite a bit of value. And the recon pops in. Flash is coming across both sides, but it's going to be Sai who extracts the first blood here. 
He's spamming down. There's one player on Jen, and he gets taken out. Kishi fights the one, and he's looking for more. But there's no trade just yet. For some reason, Kohli still actually wins out on that trade because Sai has been taken down and have isolated both the duels. It's a 2v2 spike not yet planted. And Kohli is just so very low in the HP. DC holding such a great angle. Yes, on and off one quickly gets the head with the adjustment. Kishi taking him out. Smoke timing again was not that good. He will get the spike. Now the question is where he's going to go for the plant. Yes, still sticking to that A. Actually baited it with that tap. They should Ooh. have an idea. What? Is that just a pixel of it? And DC has been left. taken down. 12 HP in the hands of Kohli. He needs to get this headshot. It's just 100 on the hoax. But that head needs to be connected. Cannot go for the body. Only a head. 16 more seconds remaining. The longer he takes to plant the spike, the easier it would be for hoax to go for the spray down. Spike has been planted. Now he should have an idea of where Kohli is. Nothing. To reposition. 11 seconds for the smoke. Crouching just behind the box. How will Hoax place no this out? That's the question. And who will lose their footings first? That jump should have been heard by him. Oh, wow. Timing Holy. is impeccable. And so is the aim. Taking every single checkbox in that way. And securing a pistol like that. Oh my goodness. No way you're allowed to do that. Look at this. Kohli, such a low HP. DC did everything he could. And look at this shot. No oh, freaking man. way. Wow. That is wow. I honestly thought it could have been a wall bang, but no. That's a straight Whoa. up a bullet to the head. 12 HP, just 1v2 clutch. Absolutely agree. 12 HP, 1v2 clutch. As Kohli throws Astro Army for a flawless pistol victory across the series. Oh, does he move out of it? I just said poo, forgive me. They're not checking the they're not checking it! They're not checking it, but still Shivy! No! no, you need to get that kill! Shivy! 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 No, my friend! That is quite the blunder. That's quite the clip that's gonna haunt you for the rest of your career. It's one of those, and Coley just spams down through the wooden wall. To find Jayen, I guess nothing. Last two players left are seemingly in a bit of um, a merciful state oh. here. And the mercy is being given from Doc. So he gets the one. He's looking for the other, but Hoax <laughs> will give him at least one headshot. What just what just happened? What was Hoax thinking? Okay. Interesting yeah, hey, recon from on the him. <laughs> <laughs> Probably to catch someone if they're playing up close, maybe that's all. But yeah, he just wanted to get as many rifles off their hands as possible. 8 to 6 now. And Kohli is leading the charts with 19 finishes. Followed by Levi with 11. While Hoax and Sai, 13 and even from their own side. Looking at the ult economy, one away from, from the shadows. While everyone else is quite far apart. If you're looking for Sai, he's 3 away from the no command. So I think so, if possible, maybe Badu Ali one can try and fight for an orb and feed KO into that, but no, they do not want to go for it. Kishi quickly taking the space towards A main yet again. The rotation has been called, but it all is a fake. Look at how everyone is just moving back as Killja was posted towards the B to punish any kind of B aggression or B push. So that is a very smart play coming in from Astro Army. They've already forced three people towards the A side now. And Hoax with this recon, hoping to find some information, will gain absolutely nothing. And it well, seems to be yet another A hit, but wall. it's going to be a split from Cat. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And now they've gotten one spot. The kill just been seen towards mid. DC rolls. He's been blinded. There's a recon. He's been absolutely cornered here. And he will get taken out by Doxer. Kishi's blinded himself. And there's quite a bit of commotion with the utility here. But he's still alive, staying in his smoke. And JN and Sai find one each. They're getting a little bit dicey. But Kohli makes it easier. Hoax comes back with another Kishi to find one more. And the last man standing is going to be Hoax and Kishi for each of their teams. But Kishi, he wins out on Hoax's whiff. Cost them round number nine. 
hoax. He was reloading. You had the chance to finish off that round. No way he misses that. Another round for Kishi. Another round for Astro Army. And another round for hoax to forget. Seems like it's basically been written in the book. That's the pistol, anti-eco, bonus. All three of them are going to go for Astral Army and they've been picking that time and time again and now since you already have seen there's not a good buy there's a few sheriffs to work with I think so this one should also fall in the hands of Astral Army and if you're going with the way how things have been going right now yeah that should be the case okay Maybe not Shibi yeah, that, that's a nice shot that's that's a good recovery to be honest with the spray down is there Kohli quickly finishes him off gets the side under control oh this timing could have been everything but somehow dogs have wins out on that trade. DC rules been taken care of. And since now B is empty, it has all been sold for a fake. Hook should actually hear this movement. But sees the head, gets the spike down, goes for another straight up with the guardian. And he wins that trade. It's again down to a 1v1. Sai and dogs are. Oh my goodness. And now the question is where will he commit the spike? Because both of them have the exact same idea. And that is B. Oh, size reading this better, of course. He does have his knife as well. And he is playing the mind games with Doxer. He might just win this, and he will. Doxer is worried about market. And Sai was peeking the right angle. 9-7. to seven. BL win on the back of a little bit of a heroic from Hoax. He actually won that fight towards high mid two times. It was something that we did not expect. That should have been... Levi killing him, but Hoax, just so good, was ready to spam him down across the box. He didn't care about getting a clean shot. He just wants to kill him, and he will be doing the same. He's got his ultimate lined up for that. Sai's got his uh, Malkaman as well. And on the other side, there's a big lockdown available for the Killjoy, which of course has its counters. Let's see how far he goes. Oh, Sai's actually been detected, and two ultimates committed here. Both the KOs have actually activated it. And here we go. The <laughs> Odin gets one. But the other player is still sitting there. He gets taken out. Levi. He finds him as well. And now Astro Army have the B side under their control. Just a few more seconds. And they'll get the plant down as well. And that's exactly what they've done. Jen with the operator in the hand. Not the best gun you would want to have. Especially for a retake. And now it's all three people into the site. HP not that pretty. 70 onto Kohli. And even a ball bag straight down could actually take him out. Now, the question is, who's going to peak the angle? Because even Rio into the backside is not on a full HP. That's the straight down I was talking about. Picking Kohli off. One person will be taken care of. Rio goes in for the peak. And so does Levi at the same time. They both take their own 1v1s and win both of them. That could not have happened any better for Astar Army doing absolutely everything to utmost perfection. My goodness, I almost thought Hoax should be able to take at least two people down with that Odin spam, but it just shows how good Kohli was with that adjustment and with that spray. Gets that headshot and finishes things off in style, getting 10th. So that's double digits already reached. And again, another broken buy for Baddu Alipa. So it seems that Asha Army should have this one in bag. But we've seen time and time again that Baddu Alipa also have the ability to get a few thrifties. Oh, oh my god! What? How did he get that shot on his head? My goodness, that's, that's illegal. That should not be allowed. Yeah, that was quite the shot there from Sai. Out goes the ultimate. And thankfully, because of that knife, Sai protects his own behind. But JN, he gets two on the back of it. Rio will trade back, but that's that's only about it. Two versus four. Astro Army, they do have an ultimate to work with. They've got mid to work with as well. Doxer's got just one avenue. And that is the fact that if he crawls in towards a site, he could find that Killjoy sitting and waiting towards a short. Or even if they go towards B, where they now know the Soba is available, could be a problem. DC rules for so long. He's holding that angle. Finally, he changes 
his attention towards his own spawn and he will get taken down. The last man standing on B, he's got a bit of job to do here. Can he hold on to it? He's just got a share, folks, and we've seen him do real good stuff with this. He will not get the kill. The teleport is not going to come in at the right place. It's going to be on actually B main. A shivy. He's running in oh to take the fight, and he wins it. But he's got another one. Takes out the lockdown in the process as well. Makes it an easy duo. We won. But it's all up to Rio on the attack. He was the first. And Rio could probably do this. Make it 11. And he might just do it. He misses out. But the triple burst from the classic. Rio once again with the clutch. It's an absolute that, and circus coming in. Too. <laughs> exactly. Right and they win that. Right here. And they win that. A 4v2. That's... Uh, right that's here. just the way Asta Army has been playing time and time again. They always get the perfect time. Uh, it's one of the most basic rules whenever you're playing Valorant is the fact that you do not concede the mid control. And if you do, you have to commit 1% to watch the choke point through where the people can come in for the rotations. And that was not done. For now, Hunter's Fury being committed. And he kind of tags his own teammate with that. That's uh, quite a bit actually. Quite confusing though. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're running into the B site. DC rolled. He's got a bit of trouble. He's looking to two different angles. And he got confused. Really worried about where he could get hit from. And that's the B site. Absolutely in control. Open for business. holy has been spotted here, but he's got no teleport for a couple of seconds. He's still looking to take the fight and he will get taken down. Two versus four. Doable for the defense and day in. What a classic shot from him. He absolutely flicks it out and docks her. He was blinded, but he's still in this corner. And Shibi gets a flick of his own. 11 to 8. BL somehow able to hold on to this. They were given gifts, to be honest. Coley, the minute he had his chance to teleport away, once that suppress went away from the KO knife, he should have done it. But he just chose to sit down there and yes. try to fight. Out of the open, a mistake of a decision costs them another round. Baker's advantage coming into play. So that's what Badu Alipa has been using. And again, those nasty flicks. Two of those nasty flicks. That That's something. I mean, that's exactly the type of operator you always want to see. And this time in the hands of Jen, it, it seems it's working really well. So Badu Alipa. Finally, somehow getting their footing back in this game. 11 to 8. Yes, still three rounds behind. But at least... They've broken the entire momentum. And this knife is going to give a decent amount of information. Jump peeking back. I'm quite sure where the fragment oh. was for. Maybe just to stop anyone for... The cat push. He's got an idea. Already getting one pick. And quickly moving back. Does not want to give the kill back to Astahami. No, wait. He wants to play an aggressive. Does he disrespect? That's the question. It's a time out. But Kishi still wins that out. Everything was supposed to happen for the favor of Sai. He spotted the owl drone, moved out of the smoke, but Kishi gets the flick of his own and gets the weapon upgrade now. Down to 45 HP, yes for sure, but still. That's already one Vandal in their hand. And the numbers advantage that was once in the hand of Badoripa has now been equalized. Oh, the trades no come in. A bit of a work here. So you versus three, still do a pull for Aster Army. They're trying to focus on JN, but they don't know that he's under heaven. There comes a swing, but he still wins that fight. He's getting smoked off by that smoke because he did not realize that he would get taken out there. Unfortunately for him, he lost his vision. As the plant goes down now, it's a two versus two. Coley, he's hoping that his paranoia can help them win this. Oh. There's the first spray down. It doesn't connect completely. And now they've been isolated in two different fights. It could be a crossfire that works out brilliantly, but it all depends on Levi. Out comes the flash. He swings at Coley, gets him rather. And it's Hoax left all alone. He's got one chance to win this out for his team, but he's been not having the best of records on this map. He's got a smoke in front of him. He's going to try and focus on Coley. Can he win this fight? He's been spotted. Oh, he, oh, he actually hasn't been spotted. Did he see the pixel? He heard him. He should have seen that pixel. He should have seen that pixel. But nonetheless, still, he tries to take the fight. Wins it. Hoax has been taken down. And the hopes of Badu Alipa for coming back in this game are also 
Luring as the time is ticking down. Match point 12 to 8. One more mistake and Badu Alifa will be knocked out of the Predator League. It's the lower bracket and their last chance to somehow turn the tides around and force a map 3. That's Lotus. And their buy is not looking pretty. Well, this could be it, ladies and gentlemen. BL do have one Hail Mary in their pocket, and that's the lockdown. But looks like they just want to finish this off. Doxer, he's going to get taken out, but Kishi's going to take care of the A site all by himself. He comes to taken out. They've got the control of this A site. No ultimates coming in. The Hunter's Fury also was committed, by the way. So that's a bit of a early predicament for them to make that decision. Kishi's going on the aggressive. They actually want to fight this out. And they're heading straight in. The lockdown could be taken out and it will not be. It's going to stay alive, but it doesn't even matter because the push in from short and the sandwich from heaven and hell both take out. BL as Aster Army emerge winners in the most anticlimactic way possible. They realize that the lockdown scar are going to be taking them out, so they have to take the fight to them because they don't want to give up the control of the A site. The Hunter's Fury has been exhausted. So, what do they do? They run in and they take the fight and they do it in a sandwiched way. They wait for the Heaven players to actually take all the attention towards them because BL in the end realized that, oh, you know what? They're heading, pushing Heaven with two players. This should be it. And at the same time, out comes the push from A short. They take them from a sandwich position and they eat them for breakfast like it's nothing. Astro Army, ladies and gentlemen, your winners and progressing to fight off Reckoning Esports in the lower bracket finals in the matches to come what a game what a great game honestly and you look at the way how they've been playing you know 13 6 13 8 yes at a point i felt badu alipa might be making a comeback it is possible for them to win out on those duels but somehow in terms yep. of that strategy it feels like their retake was not as clean as you would expect it to be and one of the reason for that mm -hmm. was because Jane was sometimes falling off earlier than expected. So there was no one to open yep. up the site whenever you're going for the retake. You need to have your duelist for them. And once it's taken down, it becomes even more difficult to go for that. Jane with the operator, mm -hmm. yes, he tried to make a few plays. He actually got a lot of shots connected. But whenever it came down to those clutch situations, it just seemed that Astro Army were more in control. Badu Alipa kind of gave up because of that fresh and somehow it just seems that their knees were broken only because of the burden that they had to carry. And that was the burden of being eliminated. Even that thought, whenever it comes to your mind, it kind of hinders your performance. Now we'll see why that happened as we'll be looking at the scoreboard. Sire Dreams, 18 kills. ACS of 283. Even though Hoax is the one with the 19 kills, highest in his team, still, Side Dreams is the one who basically gets the MVP for his side. While on the other end, we see Kohli, 26. He's had a feast in this game. Like, real feast. Yeah, absolutely. And once again, it's that same type of story, ladies and gentlemen. The impact is just more relevant on Astro Army. And you just, like, it, it's exactly like you said it. JN, yes, he got his connections with the op, but look at the, the amount of times he's been killed. He's been killed the most number of times, and as a Jet, you would expect that, yes. But he's not able to translate the space gain, like you mentioned, into something that his team could utilize. And on the other end as well, the impact of these rounds comes on the back of Aster Army, in, uh, you know, because they, in those clutch moments, were able to get the kills that were required. How many clutches do we see? Three, four? I don't know. I can't even count at this point. But BL, when they were in these clutch situations, yes, they got a couple of kills, but the impact of those last couple of shots that maybe would win you these rounds were just not there. And in the end, it is going to be the end of their journey. Ladies and gentlemen, this game has concluded. We've got four more games to go yeah four more the upper bracket final the lower bracket final this this is decider final and of course the grand final which is going to be a LAN at uh i believe it's in bangalore but yeah it is going to be quite the climax to this tournament but for today that is all we had for you we will see you all tomorrow same time 3 p.m forgive me 4 p.m afternoon ist just note it down because this 
game is gonna only get better as Astro Army go up against Reckoning and True Rippers will be fighting off against Orangutan. Good night, happy gaming. Hope you all join us tomorrow for the India Predator League 2024 and uh, hope you rank up as soon as possible. Bye-bye. See ya.
I'm in my life, yeah, I'm